Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a DVD review, and this is where I'd usually hold up the DVD case. However, um, it was a film on that was on the other night, never seen it before, and I uh, thought I'd uh, give it a watch. And that film in question is Source Code. Now, the film does star Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, in all honesty, there's not been many films that I've watched him in. Um, I think Jarhead is... Uh, the main one that I've seen him in also Donnie Darko who was pretty cool in that bit twisted but Source Code is the film that I watched him in it was last night uh, that the film uh, was on telly and uh, I thought I'd give it a quick review really so the film uh, pretty much starts off with a camera panning through Chicago and uh, showing you all the different sceneries you know all the skyscrapers the land around it and then uh, you see a train and you think, yeah, panning in. Obviously, he's going to bar fly by. However, it doesn't, and uh, it then cuts to Jake Gyllenhaal waking up on the train. So you see Jake Gyllenhaal wakes up. He's on this train. Uh, he seems bemused. He doesn't know where he is. He's all disorientated. He's, he's not his usual self. And there's a girl sat opposite him. She's talking to him about a day. Phone goes off. Uh, this woman trips up, you know, usual sort of stuff that may happen on a train on a regular daily basis. He then realises that all isn't well. He isn't the man that is sat on the train. So, Jane Joel and all, kind of leaving a, leading a bit of a double life. People on the train see him as a guy called Sean Fentress, a teacher from Chicago. Jane Joel and all is actually a pilot. A US Army pilot called Colter Stevens. He's trying to wrestle with his two identities, Sean or Captain Colter Stevens. All of a sudden, the train explodes and he wakes up and he's strapped into a chair and he's got a uh, monitor and he, there's a woman talking to him, asking him questions and all this. And she says, You've got eight more minutes and she chucks him back into the train. So, the gist of the story is that there's a person bombing uh, this train that. Sean, Jay Gyllenhaal, Captain Colt Stevens is on. The source code, which is what Jay Gyllenhaal is inside of, is not actually on the train, but he's sent there to find out who the bomber is. So there's someone on the train, there's a bomb on the train, and they're trying to find out who it is who's bombing the train and who's going to bomb Chicago. Yeah, Jay Gyllenhaal, he's got to try and stop it, and he's got to try and out find out who the bomber is and the thing is he's got eight minutes to do it and he's sent in over and over again it's not clear how many times he's sent in but he is in this sort of pod uh, it's called the source code i don't recognize any other actors in the film now the thing is i mean i'm reviewing the film but then i'm also a bit of a annoyed at it uh, it's a bit of a rant a bit of a spoiler and the thing is jake gyllenhaal is a pilot. His helicopter went down uh, in Afghanistan, he was shot down or something. He was in this source code for two months and there's been failed attempts before and this is the one successful attempt. Now the thing is, this is what is a bit annoying, a bit strange. Jake Gyllenhaal is kind of dead. He's in a vegetative state. This is what we found out at the end. So I'm going to spoil it for you. This is a spoiler review slash rant and uh, yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal's kind of dead. He's in a box, metal box. He's on life support. There's tubes inside of him. Uh, his brain's been cut open, and there's literally just his head. He's got pretty much where the devoted is. He's got none of his body from there. Um, I think he might have one arm and half of another. Uh, yeah, somehow he goes into this brain, and the character of this guy, um, Sean. And, uh, yeah, he can walk around, he can do everything. And it's a bit strange. It's how can a guy who's in a vegetative state, cables all in his brain, go back almost to a present day time on the train, move around, and be in a, another person's body. And apparently everybody on the train's dead. So that means that he's almost going back in time to move around inside somebody else's body to try and find out who the bomber is. And that's what I can't understand. And then there's a point where he's uh, on the phone. So he's sending an email on the phone. And he sends it to the woman who's on the video camera in the source code ball-like object. 
So he sends her an email from the present day when he's in the source code, which is in the past, which he has eight minutes to do. And this email gets sent from the past to the future to the present day to a woman on that actual day of when the bomb explodes on the train which was a failed attempt because he went back in time in the source code and successfully defused the bomb twice like the original detonation and then the failsafe detonation so he saved the day on a failed bombing attempt of the train that he was meant to go back in time anyway to defuse the bomb and find out who the bomber is. So that's what got a bit confusing. I mean, it's, it's not the worst film in the world. It's okay. However, if you like time travel and all that and you can wrap your head around it, then it's alright. You know, you might really enjoy it. I don't know. Yeah, it got a bit confusing. How he can be sent back in time from the present day when he's in a vegetative state, when he's in a source code ball, and he can move around and interact with all sorts of people and do that, when those people on the train are dead. Hmm. So, if you can wrap your head around time travel, Jake Gyllenhaal moving in dead people's bodies, then you might really like this film. I mean, I thought it was okay. You have to concentrate and watch it a bit, but it was alright. And you got to see a bit of Chicago, and kind of like Chicago, seeing how uh, CM Punk's from Chicago, I kind of like Chicago now. Um, but yeah, James Dillon all is kind of in a vegetative state, he's dead, been dead for two months, and he's travelling back in time for eight minutes only, why eight minutes I don't know, into a body of a dead man to walk around a train to find a bomber. So that's kind of the story of Source Code. So okay, if you like James Dillon all, then you might like it. If you like time travel, then you might like it. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a odd storyline. But it's alright. Like I say, if you like time travel, you'll love Source Code. Uh, watched it on telly the other night. So that was my quick review of it, really. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, use TobyWTD as your promo code for any We The Devoted gear. All the links are down below, as per usual. Uh, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching my review of Source Code. Uh, Starring Jake Jill and all. Time travel, my review slash rant slash spoiler um yeah thanks for watching